So you want to learn how to code dismantle in Minecraft. Well, I'm here to show you. I'm just the guy. So first you want to run tag, tag at s add Sukuna, right? So that will allow you and you alone or who else you want to tag Sukuna to be able to do it. You're going to have two repeating command blocks with a lever powered on both of them. And the, the commands will always be in the description, but I'm just going to type them out just so you can see them in action. Execute as at E tag equals Sukuna has item equals item equals arrow at at S positioned tilde tilde 1.5 unless entity at S DX equals O run execute as at A has item equals item equals arrow location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand at at s positioned carrot 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 one run damage at e r equals one tag equals exclamation mark sakuna capital s and the tag for entity underscore tag the entity at e has item equals item equals arrow location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand tag equals sukuna capital s and make sure that you have a parentheses after the has item before the, the comma of sukuna if you are following along with the video I didn't spell has item right. There you go. And that should make sure that there are no syntax errors. So I did kind of brush through this. So I'll be showing you the fix up. Troubleshooting your own commands. When you see execute sub command unless entity at test failed means that usually there's nothing wrong with it. So if there's nothing wrong with it, you'll see whatever your animal of choice is will get damaged when you sneak right in front of them and then we're gonna do basically the same thing so at the start you can see execute at s at e until blah 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 until you know run with the position that detects for sneaking and we're gonna be detecting for sneaking again here so execute at e as at e tag equals sakuna capital s has item equals item equals arrow there will be no name for this at s position tilde tilde 1.5 unless entity at s this direction at zero run execute as at a has item as item equals item equals arrow location equals slot dot weapon dot main and at at s position one two three car carrots run execute at at sure it's not capital r equals one tag equals exclamation mark sakuna so that it doesn't run the particles on you as at s run particle minecraft critical underscore hit underscore emitter tilde tilde to tilde v1 should run it around there and so i hope that you have the copy and paste it for this part because it'd be a little grueling so if right now you see it only has one block range so per command block we're adding range so let's say i want to make it a five block range right one two three four five and one two three four five right one two three four five and so we're gonna set them all to repeating and we're going to have some redstone a line of redstone running down from the lever technically you don't need two levers you can just have one but i like to have it open you can name the command block do whatever it won't really affect it and then we just copy and paste so we have we copy and paste what we have from here and we just change one value the one value that's right here after the carrot to two blocks away 
to three blocks away, to four blocks away, to five blocks away, right? So we have a five block difference here, and we're gonna copy and paste what we have right here as well, and we're going to take that to two blocks, three blocks, four blocks, and five blocks. So there we have it. We will have a functioning five block long dismantle that will run particles at the entity that you are attacking. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.